Sadnam, welcome back. Day 18 today and we are going to do a fun one as we're going to tackle anger. And anger is a very negative feeling that predominantly eats us from inside and it also leaves unpleasant feeling for those around you. So controlling anger or trying to alleviate anger is very, very important because anger also drains our adrenal, stresses the nervous system and genuinely leaves us feeling not good. The set is very nice, it's not too hard to do, but it's very effective in balancing this hot energy we create and leaves us more leveled and more calm. So let's rub the hands together. Bring the hands into the sternum and deeply inhale and exhale and inhale to begin. Om Namo intention to stay calm and peaceful through the rest of our practice today. So we're gonna sit in easy pose. You're gonna bring the thumb and the index finger of the right hand and you're gonna hold the middle finger of the left hand just above the knuckle. So squeezing with a nice pressure the sides of your nail. And we're going to apply this pressure, close the eyes and just gently go within. Finding that point on the side of the nail that feels a little painful. This stimulates calmness of the mind and really releases that anger. And anytime you find yourself in a situation where anger resurfaces, just hold this mudra. You can do that under the table, nobody needs to see, but that will help you come back to a more level, the more centered self, not allowing the anger to spoil the situation that you're in. Keep breathing long and deep, keep applying the pressure. And release gently. You may feel a little pain still on the middle finger. That's normal. We've applied quite a bit of pressure on that meridian point here. 
You're gonna bring your hands to the side, tuck the thumb, the, the fingers into the paddings of the palms, thumbs firmly pressing up to the sky. You're gonna close the eyes and we're gonna do breath of fire here. Keep the chest open, keep the arms parallel to the floor, keep going. Inhale, hold the breath in, squeeze the root block, suspend the breath, hold. And relax the hands down. Now gently start rotating the shoulders, really massaging the shoulder blades. And getting rid of any tension that we hold around the neck and the shoulder. Nice deep breaths, allowing the shoulders to release. Really feel the tension melting away. We hold so much pressure on the shoulders, so it's very important to let go and get rid of any stagnation, any energy trapped into the blockages here. Keep massaging. And reverse forward. Now you're going to bring the forearms parallel to the floor with the palms facing up. You're going to open the mouth and stick the tongue out as far as it goes. And we're going to start panting from the upper chest with deep breath.
Inhale. And exhale. Bring the hands into the chest in prayer pose. And now go into long deep breathing through the nose. Feeling how the belly opens up, the diaphragm, the upper chest. And on the exhale, gently releasing the chest, the rib cage, and the tummy. And keep going. Breathing long and deep. And relax. So now we're going to come into tabletop. So bringing the feet hip width apart. The hands are going to be facing towards the feet. And you're going to bring yourself up into what we call table. Chin is tucked in. So don't have the head falling down. Chin is up. And from here, you're going to find balance on the right leg. So lift the body weight towards the right to free up the left leg. We're going to extend it to 60 degrees. If this is too much, hold in here. But if you feel you're strong enough to do this, body parallel to the ground, lifting the left leg up 60 degrees, pointing the toes forward, and we do breath of fire. Almost there. Inhale, hold, squeeze the root lock, hold. Exhale, come down. Woohoo, nice. Come immediately on your back and you're gonna hug your knees and you're gonna start rocking back and forth, massaging the entire spine. So now we're going to come up and while we still have that energy, we're going to start running on the spot. So if it's too much, you can just march here. If you can, you're going to start running 
getting the energy going. Just go around the room. Don't limit yourself to the mat. And really go for it. You can raise the legs even higher if you want. Or just simply march. Whatever you're ready for. Don't push too hard. Just get the energy going. Go, 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 almost there. Sit down for a few seconds and catch your breath. Breathe, breathe through the nose. Now we're going to come sitting on our heels and you're going to interlace the hands behind in Venus Law. The head is going to be down, forehead on the floor. And here we're going to do a four part inhale. With every inhale, you raise the hands higher up. So one, two, three and four are four inhales and then exhale in one smooth motion. So we can do this with a mantra, sata na ma, and then on the exhale, mentally chanting, wahe guru. Let's give it a try. Sata na ma, wahe guru. Sata na ma, wahe guru. And keep going, breathing. Inhaling in four parts and exhaling in one go.
Okay, relax, come up. It's a good one to segment the aura and fix the auric space around. And now we're gonna bring the left hand to the nose and we're gonna block the left nostril with the ring finger. We're gonna inhale through the right. Holding the breath in, block the right nostril with the left thumb and exhale through the left. And just keep inhaling through the right and exhaling through the left. And now raise the hands up and open and close the fists. Open and close. Keep opening, keep closing. And exhale, relax for a second, go within. Mentally acknowledge how you feel. Notice the balance inside yourself. If you have time, go in relaxation and rest here for at least seven minutes. It's going to be beneficial to consolidate the Kriya. All right, let's rub the hands together and tune out. Place them to the sternum and inhale. Exhale. Inhale to begin. So Sat Nam 
So now, hope you feel great. I hope you have a balanced day today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Satnam.